Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, it's obviously a Outriders video. And I get a lot of questions from people saying, how do you actually get really good rolled purple gear or epic gear? And I always tell them, well, you need green items with the stats that you need. For example, firepower, close range and long range. You would find a green pair of boots, for example, with close range, long range damage and obviously firepower on and then what you would do is you would level up that green and improve the rarity and make it into a god roll all that really matters on a piece of gear is the base stats that it has if it has the base stats that you need then you can level it up and min max it to make it absolutely perfect for your build you don't need to spend 10 20 30 hours farming purples and hoping that the purples you're getting from rng are the ones that you need and have the stats that you need you don't need to do that there's a much much quicker way you just need to find greens. Now, when I tried this method, I thought to myself, okay, I need green items. So what am I going to go and do? I thought, well, I'm going to go and do CT1s. Because CT1s, you know, they're the worst out of the lot of them. They'll probably give me greens. So when I did challenge tier 1s, I did a bunch of them. And it was only giving me blues and purples. I was very rarely getting green. And I was like, okay, this isn't a good method. I need to find something else. So then I thought, oh, I'll go and do boss farms or loot farms that I've got on my channel. And... You know, we'll get a bunch of greens that way. So I did that, and once again, when I killed the elite or the boss or whatever, it would give me a couple of greens, but it'd mostly give me blues and purples. And I thought to myself, well, I need something that gives me greens quite often. So today, I'm going to show you what I did to get all of my gear for all of my characters with the stats that I need, and then I just used my crafting resources on each character to level them up to, to level 50. Then obviously I spent shards on them to get the min-max rolls. And then we used the rarity glitch to get the perfect mods that I wanted on my gear. So first of all, this is best suited for pyromancers. But it does work on any class. It might just take a bit longer. That's the only difference. So what you're going to go and do is you're going to select a story point of Trench Town. You're then going to select the story point in that mission to push back the insurgents in no man's land it'll be the third one down on the list you're also going to want to do this on world tier one now once you've loaded into the story point you're going to be right here all you're going to do is quickly sprint around here follow it around and you're basically just going to run to the table where the checkpoint tells you to go enter the battlefield skip the cutscene there's going to be two cutscenes that you can skip and then you're going to be right here now, when you're here, if you're on a pyromancer, all you need to have is the overheat ability. You see, you press it and everything dies. You're also going to use the auto loot key in order to pick everything up. So you just run in a straight line. So you're going to run here. You're going to run through here and let them all spawn. And then you're just going to hit overheat again. And you're just going to keep spamming overheat on cooldown. So there you can see we've got our first green, another bunch of greens. And you basically just need to run up to the top here. And then you can just overheat and keep killing everything again. This is the quickest way that I've found to personally get my green items. I think I spent about an hour and a half and I had the perfect god roll boots and the perfect god roll hands that I needed with the stats that I needed on them. Now once you've killed all the spawns you're going to be here. You don't want to jump over that. What you want to do is come into the menu, return to lobby. And then once you're in the lobby again what you're going to do is select the story point, select the exact same one and load back in the game. And then you can just rinse and repeat this. So say you're looking for example like I used before. You're looking for a pair of boots that you need bonus firepower on, long range damage and close range damage on. You're going to keep doing this until you find a green pair of boots with those stats on. From there you're going to go to the crafting bench and you're going to level it up to max level. Then you can use the rarity upgrade glitch or exploit whatever you want to call it in order to get the mods that you need on the piece of gear. So that way you're going to get two mods that you need and it's going to have the base stats that you need at the same time. It's much easier to get the gear that you need using that method than it is to try and farm, you know, level 50 items, greens, blues, purples, whatever, to try and get the items that you need. It takes some of the RNG out of it. But this is pretty much super easy, you know, you one-tap everything, it's no problem at all, it's very quick. You could probably watch a film or something like that or YouTube videos, whatever you want to do while you do this. There's nothing, absolutely nothing to it. 
Now we've done two runs. If we just look at the gear, we've got some weapons. You know, look at the helmets we've got. We've got five helmets. We've got five chest pieces. We've got one pair of pants, two pairs of gloves, and four pairs of boots in that short space of time. And you see, if you're a pyromancer, you can literally just run through and just one tap everything with overheat. And if you've got obviously a debuff build or some kind of build of overheat in it, your overheat will probably be on a five second cooldown. So it's very, very quickly. Now, if you have another class, this will work exactly the same way. It'll just be slower for you. That's the only difference. You'll still one tap everything. But if you do have a pyromancer, you can use this to get all of the gear for every other class that you need. It's very quick, very efficient. Guaranteed greens every time. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. It's just a very quick video just to show off this little method and hopefully get you guys some gold roll gear the easy way instead of relying on RNG to absolutely bless you and give you, you know, a purple piece that's level 50 with all the free base stats that you need and good mods. The chances of you getting that is absolutely insanely small. So this basically just takes some of the RNG out of the equation for you. As always, guys, if you did like the video and it helped you out, please drop a like on the video. It helps me out so, so much reach everyone else on the platform. And if you like more than one of my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. At 5,000 subscribers, we're actually going to be doing a giveaway or a couple of giveaways. So stay tuned for that. Also on the 25th, we're going to be doing a live stream about Biomutant, about the release of the game. We're going to be playing through that. So it'd be nice to see some of you there. So I just want to take a minute, guys, to appreciate all of our lovely VIP members of the channel. All of their names are on screen now for you to see. And I just want to say thank you so much for your support every single month. Because without the extra support that you guys provide, I wouldn't be able to do what I love to do. And as always, if you want to join the Discord server, links will be in the description of the video. But until next time, guys, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.